Ramblin' Man Moto here out on Interstate 64 bright and early it seemed like a wonderful idea when I agreed to this 8 a.m. dentist appointment but we live 45 minutes away or so so when I was getting up this morning it suddenly seemed like less of a good idea on Monday I flew out and back in the same day to Dallas Texas and uh, because of a flight delay home didn't put the head on the pillow until about 3 a.m. and I'm still trying to catch up on sleep from that trip I could fall asleep in the dentist chair today I don't think I'll do that but I am a bit fatigued after that uh, air travel I usually would uh, build in time to take the back roads on this trip and I probably have time but the uncertainty of those back roads sometimes is a tree down or accident whereas here I'm a little more confident I don't feel as uh, safe out here but statistically most accidents don't happen on the interstates right just everybody's moving faster out here Did you see that thing in the road there I got kicked up by the car in front of me stuff flying from it for those of you that have cruise control on your motorcycle do you use it I have felt incredibly awkward when I've tried to use it and uh, I haven't taken with this bike and my super chief has it as well I've taken a couple of out-of-state trips with that bike but not this one but I've been on the interstate like this or uh, highways like this and the couple times I've tried to use it, I just feel incredibly uncomfortable. It feels unnatural to not be in control. Now, I use it all the time in an automobile, especially the adaptive uh, cruise control. But on the motorcycle, man, it just feels like I want hand on the throttle. How about you guys? Do you use the cruise control only in short spurts or just let it ride? The times I've used it has been to just give the hands a quick rest because they were going numb or something or just cramping after holding it for so long more frequent brakes would do that as well but if you're out like this you know to take an exit and rest you know maybe you're not going to do that and heck I haven't been riding that long I just stopped for gas and you know I wouldn't mind uh, putting it on and giving the right hand a break because it's already feeling a little like you know like I could do that one thing I've noticed on the interstates is that my body tenses up. I have to kind of be aware of it. And I find it's kind of in my legs. Yeah, kind of like my uh, upper leg. I feel it's just kind of tensed up. Rambler Man Moto here. So I ran a dentist appointment that went a lot longer than I thought they should. And then I stopped for breakfast. And as I was leaving, these two older fellows came in, probably, uh, no, he told me one of them was 83, so I assume his buddy was too, in that range. And they were, uh, I've always said this bike strikes up conversations. 
I'm sure you guys at ride have the same experience and uh, they stopped and wanted to talk to me about riding and admiring the bike and um, they rode Harleys and both of them said they gave it up about two years ago but still owned the bikes and uh, they said they hadn't really seen an Indian and they were asking me was this an old bike or was it new to look old and so I was explaining the history of my buying it and they really liked it we're really complimenting this Springfield there's gonna be thunderstorms this afternoon so I am uh, it's 10 23 I've probably got about 45 minutes to an hour working my way back home and hopefully I'll beat those storms that are projected to be starting around noon you know they said this the other day so I didn't even go out and then it was sunny the whole day I'm starting to believe 50% and lower I'm not sure I believe it so far no update from the dealer about my warranty claim and I'm in an odd spot because one they want to replace the the gas cap and if they do that I gotta get this coin that I put on with red silicone thinking a gas cap will never need replacing and then the front wheel sensor I'm not even sure I buy it needs to be replaced <clears throat> I've questioned them on it. What I haven't done yet is still take my own measurement of it and look at it. And, um, you know, without seeing the bike, the owner, when I said, you know, I'm just a little skeptical, said, well, it'll keep working till it's ground down all the way. And the guys on the forums said, if it's being hit, it's not working at all. And I'm more in that camp from my understanding of that function of the wheel sensor and location of it. <clears throat> 